Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Z here, and welcome to another episode of Tooth Teacher Tuesday. I um, just want to start off by thanking everybody for all of their support and uh, positive feedback over the last couple weeks with these first couple videos. It means a lot, and uh, want to keep hearing your feedback, your questions, so keep them coming. Um, but uh, let's jump right into today's subject, which is a um, classic one question we get asked all the time and you know it probably a question that will never go away um, which is basically okay doc what's what's the uh, what's the deal with these silver fillings what's the truth I've I've heard all sorts of different things I've heard over the years that they're toxic that um, they've got mercury in them and that they're slowly poisoning me they're given me all sorts of different diseases, Alzheimer's and um, different neurological diseases. And, um, you know, I've, I've had other dentists tell me that we need to take them out right now because they're poisoning me and, and yet other people have tons of silver fillings. So what's, what's the deal? What's the deal with silver fillings? And so great question, of course, because um, amalgam fillings, the silver fillings, um, or the gold standard in dentistry for a long, long time. And they're still used, um, kind of rare now, but they still are used sometimes. Um, but here's, here's the truth about silver fillings. So do they have mercury in them? Yes. But the important thing with any material on planet Earth is that Anything can be toxic, um, but it depends on the amount and the, um, the state that it's in. And so what do I mean by that? So let's take, for example, so raw sodium is an incredibly dangerous element. Raw sodium, if exposed to any water at all, becomes incredibly explosive like I'm talking atomic bomb explosive might be a bit of an exaggeration but so sodium raw sodium is very dangerous raw chlorine is a toxic gas so also very dangerous but when you mix sodium and chlorine together you get sodium chloride also known as table salt and so the form that something comes in is very important um, and so with, with these silver fillings, yes, they contain mercury, but it is not raw mercury that, you know, creates all the buzz about being toxic that you hear about in, you know, old thermometers or in your seafood, stuff like that. Um, so the state of mercury in these silver fillings is an inactive state. It's combined with um, several different metals to kind of make it an inactive, non-toxic form. So it's combined with primarily silver, but there's also tin and copper and magnesium and other metals that, you know, are pretty inert, pretty non-toxic. And a lot of those metals are in our diet or in regular use in society. So that's the state. And then also with any thing on earth, the dosage, the amount of it also matters because anything can be toxic. Water is the, you know, most basic thing for all of life, but too much water can be toxic too. Drowning is exactly what I mean. So same thing there. The, um, the inactive state mercury that's in silver fillings is also a very, 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 very low amount. Um, and there are numerous studies out there talking about how the mercury in silver fillings is non-toxic, it has no side effects. Um, it's less than the amount of mercury that you would consume if you went out and had some seafood, some fish or something. And there's less mercury than that. And we don't get scared of eating seafood, so there's no reason to be scared of these um, silver fillings. And in fact, in dental school, there was one study that 
we learned about and I I would have to go hunt down all that information to give you the exact study but I think it was something I think they determined that it would take I think it was 200 silver fillings to even be slightly remotely close to being toxic and um, you know spoiler alert we each have you know the average person is going to have 28 teeth in their mouth so it's impossible to have 200 silver fillings is basically the takeaway message there you wouldn't have enough teeth to be filled with enough of these amalgam fillings to cause any kind of toxicity so again like i said is there mercury in silver fillings yes but there's not enough nor is it in the proper form to cause any kind of toxicity to the rest of your body so all the fear mongering out there about alzheimer's and dementia and ms and all these other things are purely based on bad science like i said there are numerous studies out there to prove it and if nothing else take it from me i have many loved ones who have silver fillings so if I even had the slightest thought that silver fillings were toxic, I would be, you know, making sure that they have those silver fillings removed. But I don't do that because the silver fillings are great. Um, they're very strong. They last a long time. And I kind of take the philosophy that unless that filling is broken or has any decay around it, you leave it alone. Don't fix what isn't broken. Um, but that does bring up the question of, well, if Doc, if they're not toxic, then why aren't they as common now as they used to be? Um, or why do people have them removed? And it's pretty simple. Um, the main reason that we don't see them anymore and the reason that people have them removed is because we have the resin fillings now, the tooth colored fillings that are much more aesthetic. People, even on their very back tooth, would rather have something that looks like natural tooth than have a big piece of silver metal in their mouth. Um, so that's why the silver fillings have kind of fallen by the wayside in the last couple of years. Um, I will say for myself personally, one of the big reasons I don't play silver fillings is because I used to be a big fan of them, especially when I was in school, but over the years I have seen kind of the downside of the silver fillings, which the actual downside of them is this, is that that metal is so strong it is actually stronger than your tooth and what can happen especially with the bigger silver silver fillings is that over time it kind of creates a wedging effect and can actually start causing cracks in the remainder of your tooth um, and so i've seen a lot of teeth that ended up broken sometimes repairable sometimes not because of these silver fillings and so i exclusively do the resin tooth colored fillings because they are kind of compatible comparable to um, the strength of the tooth they don't cause that that breaking that the silver fillings can cause um, so those are the main two reasons that we don't really place silver fillings anymore um, there are still some dentists out there that will convince you that they're toxic just to you know get you to come in get all those silver fillings replaced so that they can make a quick buck but it as i've covered is absolutely not absolutely not true if you have silver fillings don't worry about having them replaced unless you don't like the appearance of them or if you're starting to have some sort of toothache or breaking around them so i hope that provides some insight into the uh the world of silver fillings I want to thank you again for tuning in this week, and I will see you on the next Tooth Teacher Tuesday. Have a great day.